In Orange County tonight, there's a potential break in a video voyeurism investigation. It started months back when investigators say a 12-year-old boy noticed something wrong while changing into his basketball uniform. News 6 reporter Troy Campbell joins us now live with how this case has escalated into charges filed today by the state attorney's office. Troy. Well, Ginger, Orlando police say that Morris, he agreed to come down here to OPD headquarters to take a lie detector test, which they say he failed. And this afternoon, someone who called herself his close family friend said Morris would never prey on a child. 51-year-old Philip Morris booked into the Orange County Jail charged with felony video voyeurism. Court documents show back on September 30th, 2016, Morris's son's baseball teammate was changing into his practice clothes inside a bedroom. Detectives say the 12 year old boy noticed Morris's iPhone sitting on the dresser, pointed towards him recording a video. The boy told police he picked up the phone, stopped the recording, played it back to see it did show him undressing and deleted it. The 12 year old boy's parents called police and the boy said six months prior to that incident, Morris peeked through the bathroom door to look at him while he was taking a shower. We stopped by Morris's house where the incident allegedly happened. And despite this truck sitting in the driveway, no one would come to the door. Morris's neighbor, who also calls herself a close friend, says it's shocking to hear what he's accused of, saying Morris would never victimize a child. The friend went as far to say she will still allow her 13 year old son to visit with Morris after his arrest. Now, I'm also told by family friends that the 12 year old victim's family and the 12 year old victim, along with Morris and his family, have gone on vacations in the past and have gone on cruises, emphasizing that the two families know each other very well. Ginger? Just disturbing. Troy Campbell reporting live. Troy, thank you.